what's up guys hello welcome back so in the last video um we did the <clears throat> sorry the irregular polygon as you see right here and we changed it into two triangles using using the parallel method okay so for the second step we said that we're gonna use the same drawing and we're gonna take the triangle a B E. So what I've done, I've erased everything else and leave and left um, A B E as you can see here. So let me just darken it so you can see it. You erase everything else and you leave A B E. All right, and you can darken this dash line also, and then we'll move on there. Okay, so that's A B E right there. Let me use this right here finish that okay so you have a b e so what we're gonna do now as you can see is the same thing we're gonna construct a rectangle equal in area to a triangle so we have the triangle already so we're gonna draw a line from b to f and here you can see b right here from b to f so from b to f is what kind of line a horizontal line so if you have your t square and you're using a board you have to draw a parallel line to the baseline of your triangle okay i don't have a t square right now so another way you can do that is open your compass to the height of the triangle like this and you can draw two parallel um two arcs that are the same height so if you have an arc right here, let's move it across a little bit, you can draw that and then you can move it across the same baseline and draw another arc right here, okay? And that way you can get your parallel line, okay? If you have your T-square, you just draw your line across and you'll get your parallel line, simple as that, all right? All right, so the parallel line at the top is a hidden line or a dash line so let's use the dash line and you can go past b uh, for your dash lines make sure they are equally apart just for neatness okay all right so everybody should have this right here and then the next thing we're gonna do is bisect ae where is ae ae is the bottom baseline of the triangle so we're gonna bisect AE and we're gonna create H after we bisected AE. To bisect is to divide a line into two equal parts. So let's bisect AE at H. So AE at H means you're going to create H, okay? And then draw a perpendicular line up until we meet the, the line that we just drawn, okay? So let's bisect the line. And if you know how to bisect, you open your compass to more than half of the baseline. Whatever line it is, you open your compass to more than half right here. So it's a little bit more than half. Let's go a little bit more. And after you've set your compass, do not let it um, change its position, okay? So you make your line. And then you move your compass to the other end of the line. So both ends, and then you strike another arc over here, okay? After you've done that, the two points that the line, that the arcs connect to, this point and that point, will create your bisection line, okay? You need two points to create a line, and then you just draw your line, go straight up, any length, doesn't matter, okay? At the point where the bisection line intercepts the um, the baseline, it's going to create H, as they say here. Okay. Okay. So it's going to create H right here. If you can see that right there. Yes. So we're going to label it H, and always label your your um, drawings so that you don't get confused. The point where the bisection line intersects the hidden line, 
that's going to create this, which is G, okay? So you have G right there, okay? The next thing we're going to do is, and you all you have to do is follow the steps. Draw a line AI upwards, draw a line AI upwards from A, from A, which is the corner, perpendicular to AE. And we know perpendicular is 90 degrees go, going up, okay? And extend BG to I. So extend BG to I, okay? If you haven't already. In this case, we would have already extended BG to I. And in order to get the perpendicular line, as we said, you can use your protractor. There are two ways you can use your protractor. Put it at the midpoint which is the target right here on the corner and make sure the bottom line zero is in line with the base of the triangle look for 90 degrees which is right here make a point at the top of the protractor and then draw your line from the point to the corner a okay and this is gonna be a dashed line also okay so let's make a little dash line coming down okay and with that you have your square okay simple simple as that okay and that's all